Say good morning to Charlotte for a rundown of what else is making the news. Eamon, thank you. A scientific breakthrough suggests that people in a vegetative state can communicate. Plus this as well here on Sky News. Tune in for that. Right now, rundown of what else is making the news on this Thursday morning. Let's go to Charlotte. Thank you, Eamon. A scientific breakthrough suggests people in a vegetative state can communicate with those around them. I, I always liked that song. Yeah, well, there you go. Not the Kookaburra one, the Men at Work one. Well, maybe you could sing it for well, us. Well, it doesn't sound alike. They don't As with music and literature, sometimes things can be inspired by something else, can't they? Maybe so that's where they got the idea A lot from. of people are telling us in the Scouts or in the Brownies that was uh, required singing. Well, that. I thought everyone would know Kookaburra because I... You were <laughs> chief queen guide. That's, that's the difference. Uh, getting some, uh, some business news in there, you see... Uh, and um, putting plenty in the bank, Jermaine Defoe, meaning goals. He scores, scores, scores. Absolutely. He is the main man as Tottenham and Leeds United. So everybody knows Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Uh, if you want to sing along to that this morning and tell us uh, how you know it, uh, news at sky.com at Sky Charlotte, at Eamon Holmes as well. Uh, and in an hour's time, you better start rehearsing that. We, we want that. Uh, front page. Right, if you're finding it hard to wake up this morning, we're going to fix that. We've got James <coughs> Whale on the newspapers, the LBC radio host. He's just uh, warming up his vocals for us this morning. I am, Dave. getting them ready for my... I am very welcome, James. Good, good. Plus this as well here on Sky News. Tune in for that. Right now, rundown of what else is making the news on this Thursday morning. Let's go to Charlotte. Thank you, Eamon. A scientific breakthrough suggests people in a vegetative state can communicate with those around them. A man in Belgium... I, I always liked that song. Yeah, well, there you go. Not the Kookaburra one, the Men at Work one. Well, maybe you could sing it for well, us. Well, it doesn't sound alike. They don't As with music and literature, sometimes things can be inspired by something else, can't they? Maybe so that's where they got the idea from. A lot from. of people are telling us in the Scouts or in the Brownies that was uh, required singing. Well, that. I thought everyone would know Kookaburra because I sang it as a guide and I was sending a message out on Twitter, but apparently... I'm, I'm about the only one that knows Kookaburra. Yes, but that's because you were chief guide, Charlotte. <laughs> You're just not like the ordinary guides. You were chief queen guide. That's, that's the difference. Uh, getting some, uh, some business news in there, you see. Uh, and um, putting plenty in the bank, Jermaine Defoe, meaning goals. He scores, scores, scores. Absolutely. He is the main man as Tottenham and Leeds United. What else is happening? Thanks very much. Line of what else is happening? Thanks very much, Eamon. A scientific breakthrough suggests that people in a vegetative state can communicate with those around them. A man in colour, so I'm with... You mean I you get with paler? No. You go off white? Is that builder's beige? <laughs> no, I mean I go a, sli a slightly less white white, put it that way. So I find it difficult to get a suntan. So I'm with her on this one. I think that yes. you know, people should be encouraged to feel they don't have to have a suntan. I think youngsters in particular, yeah. teenage, legend, and Clint's pretty popular as well. <laughs> Here's go. go now. Listen, um, Charlotte would now like to make a public service announcement. Yes, I'd, something to I'd like to make a clarification to an earlier point made in the paper review where you said I was 58. Sorry. Well, Jermaine Defoe got a hat trick last night. What's D? 60? Pence. Six pence. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, lots and 6D. lots. 60. Used to get 60 for your pocket money. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> you might have done. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Tempe. Um, I don't even like American football, and I'm cheered on. What, just because of the cheerleaders? Just, just funny, it's a funny old thing, isn't it, cheerleading? Just, it's just American. What? It's just odd, isn't it? Yes, yeah, sometimes we don't do it as well, it has to be said. <laughs> well, me and Charlotte could get some pom-poms for a bit later. That's what I mean, we don't do it as well. But there was some lovely sunshine around those girls. They were just radiating it. I, I doubt it's uh, somehow the same looking by that dull grey thing behind you today, Isabel Lyon. <laughs> Thanks, Charlotte. A couple of medical stories. Can't see the resemblance myself, but um, but you can. Well, there's a vague hint of it, I think. But I thought I just assumed that everybody knew this song, Kookaburra. But yes. it turns out that um, I'm in the minority. Mm. Yeah, you are. Apparently so. Yeah. But it's Indeed, thank, thank you. you. That's the situation with Toyota. Uh, here's Jackie with the sport. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Snow, but and you can hardly see the white shirts there. Uh, what's got people concerned this morning, Charlotte? Uh, well, MPs' expenses, uh, funnily enough, Phil, Phil Sidey in Chingford said these MPs are unbelievable. Lots of them fiddle their expenses. They got caught and they still can't pay our island. Kieran in Lancashire, very. I've had lots of messages about the pom pom thing, saying yes, they would like to see me in Charlotte with pom poms. You see what yes. you started. Strategically placed. I'm just thinking as well as you head home. You drive a Toyota, don't you? No, I don't. You don't? A Nissan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. Anyway, thank you very much.